Hey guys, it's Prince Rich with Rich Technology Group, and in today's video, we're going to do a comprehensive review of the Polycom VDX250. So, this video is titled, Polycom VDX250 Voice Over IP Phone Review. Um, so, we're going to jump right into this. For those of you who are not familiar with the Polycom VDX250, at the time of this video, this phone and another phone, which I've done in a previous video, um, which is a Yalink phone, but this phone and another phone are the two most chosen phones from all the carriers that I work with. So in short, no matter what carrier I'm working with, somebody always either picks this phone, the Polycom VVX250 or the other phone. So I'm going to get into some of the basic features, functions of this phone. I'm going to also go into pros and cons and tell you why I think people choose this phone mostly and why we see it, um, pretty much on the desks of people that work with just about any carrier with us. So first of all, the Polycom VBX, let's find you guys a better picture actually real quick. The Polycom VBX 250 is a four line phone. Um, it has a 2.8 inch full color LCD screen, which is actually a 320 by 240 pixel resolution. Um, this is really important because um, while I don't personally care whether my phone is color screen or not, we have a lot of people that call that do. Um, also, a lot of people like backlit screens for uh, environments that may have low lighting, like a doctor's office or an x-ray room or you know a college dorm where the lighting has to be dimmed for presentations and things like that. So the color screen is important for some people. Um, for me, as long as the screen is backlit, I'm happy. But color and backlit is kind of a good plus. So um, the, uh, as I already mentioned, it has four incoming phone lines, um, four phone line function keys that you can see here on the left of the screen. So that will allow you to have up to four simultaneous calls in or out or putting people on hold or, or what have you. It has a illuminated backlit keys. So these keys, even though you can't see it in the picture and you wouldn't be able to see it in daylight either with the actual phone, if you cut the lights out or dim your lights, these keys are actually backlit similar to how some of the old school uh, flip cell phones were, which again is important for um, some low lighting uh, settings or people that may have some minor vision problems or something like that, or may have nearsightedness or whatever it may be. Um, let's see here. It's got a speakerphone uh, built in, obviously, which typical to most all of the polycoms is behind the actual handset. It has the polycom signature patented audio. Uh, for those of you who are watching that are not familiar with Polycom, you may not know what that is. For those of you who have used Polycom before, you know that Polycom is the leaders when it comes to the best HD voice quality. Um, I actually have an older model, uh, a Polycom VBX 300, which is probably about four years older than this phone, which is pretty new at the time of this video. Um, and the Polycom VBX 300, my Polycom VBX 300, which is actually old and a bit outdated, when I use it and somebody's on speakerphone, it actually sounds as if the person is quite literally sitting on my desk next to me. So for people watching this video that want a phone that has really good audio quality, not only on the actual handset that you would pick up, but on the speakerphone as well, this Polycom or Polycom in general is your choice, is the best choice for you as sound quality is of the utmost importance. Um, this phone also sports two gigabit ports. So it has one gigabit ethernet port for you to obviously plug in the ethernet cable that supplies it with its internet to be able to get out to the network or to your voice over IP service provider. But it also has a second port that allows for you to come out to another device. Um, so for those of you who are watching this that may, you know, uh, only have one wire coming into a location where you need a phone uh, and you're thinking, oh crap, I don't want to have to run cables or anything like that. You don't have to with a phone like this. You could actually pull the internet out of, say, the you know computer at the desk that you're going to sit this phone at, plug it into uh, the Ethernet port on the phone, come back out of the phone on the second gigabit pass-through port, and go back into your uh, PC, and you could share internet between you know your PC, your printer, and this phone on a single cable that's coming into the wall from your router or switch or internet source. So that's a big plus as well. Um, one thing I wanted to point out is it's gigabit. Um, whereas the older phones, including uh, as the older phones typically only had 10, 100 ports, this is gigabit pass through ports. So there won't be any bottlenecking on your network or anything like that for people who are watching this that have medium size to larger deployments. 
<clears throat> One thing I want to point out for those of you who are watching this, who are familiar with the older models of Polycom, like the Polycom VVX uh, 300 series, 400 series, and 500 series, you can probably tell that this is a bit different than those. This uh, series was actually designed specifically in Polycom's details to be more ergonomic and easier on the hands uh, and easier to use than the previous Polycom phones, such as the one that I have, is with, which is 300 series and the 400 and 500 series. So again, for those of you who are power users that like Polycom and you're on your phone a lot, you might make dozens, if not hundreds of calls um, a day or a week. Uh, you will probably find that this phone is actually a bit easier and better to use than the previous phones. Let's get into notable features here. Some I've already covered, but we're going to elaborate on some of these. So notable features on this phone. First notable feature is the illuminated keys. This is a big one because this is very uncommon with most phones these days. Even the newer phones that I see, that we see that clients contact us, get their service provider, and then say, hey, Prince, can you tell me what options this uh provider or carrier has for phones or whatnot. Um, and uh, even uh, the phones that are newer, most of them don't typically have illuminated keys. So this is a really big feature, especially as I already mentioned, for those of you who are watching that run operations or have maybe segmentations throughout your business or office that require low lighting for whatever reason that may be. That may be a doctor's office. It may be a college dormitory, uh, you know, dorm or something like that. You know, you might run a small movie theater or something like that and have a phone in one of the uh, movie areas and any area where the lighting might be low or non-existent at all. And you require some form of, uh, you know, light on the phone so that you can dial and see what's going on. It has illuminated keys as well as a backlit LCD screen. Um, as I already mentioned, every single Polycom has the Polycom HD voice technology. Even more importantly, for those of you who may not know, Polycom recently purchased Plantronics. Um, Plantronics is one of the leaders when it comes to not only wireless or hands-free or Bluetooth headsets for uh, IP phones such as this, but also for cell phones and things of that nature. So Polycom, or as they say, Plantronics is now Polycom. For those of you who've used Plantronics, you know that Plantronics has also been like the best as far as high quality wireless ears, ear pieces and hands-free uh, accessories. So for them to be conjoined now with Polycom is only better. Polycom always already had some of the best HD voice that I personally have ever seen um, on the phone, on the voice over IP and phone market. So for them to be joined with Plantronics, it's only a bright future for those of you out there who are the, you know, the HD voice quality uh, uh, buffs and you require, uh, you know, epic uh, quality of voice, whether it be through handset or through speakerphone. Let's see here. As I mentioned before, I actually have a Polycom. Um, I normally use a Yalink WP52 cordless phone when I'm on this side of my office, but on the other side of my office at my other desk, this is kind of like our unofficial recording studio, but in my actual office on the other side, of the building, I actually have a Polycom VBX 300. And as I mentioned earlier, when I'm using the speakerphone, it literally sounds like the person that I'm talking to is sitting in the room with me. So um, there's something to be said for that. <clears throat> this phone actually has um, a couple of ways that you can connect a wireless, um, uh, a, uh, I'm sorry, a wired headset. It actually has an RJ9 port. For those of you who aren't familiar with what an RJ9 is, actually, you know what? We'll go ahead and RJ9 port. See if we can find one for you guys, for those of you watching here. So an RJ9 typically looks something. Can't exactly find one that's kind of like it. Oh, well, I guess we should put the 9 in there. RJ9 headset port. So basically an RJ9 uh, is basically kind of like, it looks almost sort of kind of like what you guys are probably familiar with, with the old analog ports like that you would see with an RJ11, which is what dial up phone or internet uses, but it's a little bit different. The pinout on it is different. On the back of the Polycom VDX250, as well as on the back of most all Polycom phones that I can remember is an RJ9 port. And it is used to connect a headset kind of like what you see here in this picture. 
a little bit old school, but it's a thing that is kind of sort of unofficially proprietary to Polycom. I personally don't really prefer RJ9 port because RJ9 port is, port is very limited in the amount of headsets that you can find on Amazon or VOIP supply or wherever you may go to be able to uh, find a headset that works well for the, you know, for the, for the phone that you're looking to get a headset for. Um, I personally prefer either Bluetooth or USB because then the options are limitless when you go to something like Amazon.com or whatever to shop for accessories. Um, since the RJ9, as we mentioned, is a bit limited and it's typically restricted to the headsets like you just saw in the previous image, this phone also comes equipped with a USB port as well. So that opens up your options a little bit more, possibly even for some wireless. Now, um, well, we'll get into another con later without getting off track. Um, so it does have an it does have a USB port that will open up your options a bit more than an RJ9, which will allow for, we'll say, a larger variety of um, call center style headsets to be used with this phone and possibly even some USB compatible wireless headsets that can be used with this phone as well. The phone also actually has uh, uh, the phone actually has the USB port for another function as well. For those of you watching this that rely heavily on call recording, typically with your voice over IP provider, you can purchase like space. They'll give you a certain amount of space included with call recording, and then you can purchase extra space. For those of you who are on a tight budget and you need extra space above and beyond what the provider may uh, allow, what the provider may allow just by default without paying any extra, the USB port on the back of this phone can actually be used to connect to an external flash or like hard drive flash type source so that you can actually offload call recordings onto that automatically. So that's a big plus for outfits that do a lot of call recording uh, and have multiple users and space may be a big deal. Now, one thing I do want to, uh, to, to specify here as kind of a security measure for those of you who are watching, especially if you're the IT operations manager is obviously it's a lot better for your call recording to be recorded and then sent into the cloud. For, so A, that means it's more secure. B, it also means that the user, if you're recording them for compliance or legal reasons, they don't have access to that recording. And more importantly, they don't know that they're being recorded. Obviously, if you're using some sort of external flash recording device connected to the phone, that means that not only is it not secure, it's also accessible by the person or persons that you may be recording uh, on that particular phone. So just keep that in mind. Um, the other thing that that USB port can be used for, which I thought was actually kind of neat, is it can actually be used as an external charger for a cellular phone or some sort of like a mobile device. So, you know, for those of you who are watching that have an Android phone or have an iPhone, as you know, it uses like a standard USB port like charger. You could come out of this phone, you know, and have your iPhone or Android sitting on the desk charging next to it. That's a great function for those of you who don't need the USB port for a wireless device or a headset or for external recording and you're on the go, you know, you come into the office and you need a place to plug in your iPhone or plug in your cell phone before you have to head back out. That's actually a pretty big plus that the phone actually has a USB chargeable port on it as well for um, like cellular devices and things like that. As I mentioned previously in the video, this phone has two gigabit pass through ports. Now I want to make something clear uh, for those of you watching that might be a medium size to larger outfit. I typically do not recommend using the pass-through port on large installations. Lar by large, I mean somebody who's got maybe, I would say approximately 20 phones or more. I would say, honestly, once you get to about 15 phones, I really recommend that you have a dedicated hard wire RAN for the phone itself. And then also for whatever the external device is that you've got in, in complement to the phone, whether it be the user's PC or the user's Macintosh or whatever it is. I do not recommend using the pass-through port on more than approximately 10 to 15 phones total on a single network. If you do choose to do that, it's possible to do that and not run into problems, but I recommend that you have a really good switch and you also have a really good router that is really good on packet management and things like that. Because the problem is, and I've seen this on networks with some people in the past with large deployments that want to do use the pass-through on all the phones and not just invest a little bit of money that you only have to do once 
in your office to run cable for that phone and for whatever that other second or third device at that particular desk or location is. You get a bottleneck. You'll run into bottlenecking problems where the person will wonder, well, my phone is working just fine, but why is my internet on my computer like super duper slow, even though we have like gigabit Fios or something like that, or, you know, 500 megabyte Comcast or whatever. These pass throughs on these phones, not just this phone, but any other Polycom and even some of the Cisco's and Grand Streams that have, uh, and Grand Streams and Yalink phones that have pass throughs, they can create problems on your network if you have too many devices using the pass through and or don't have the right routers and switches in place to handle the bottlenecking and the filtration of the traffic that's being, that's being hit with the pass through. So anyways, um, on the phone, the uh, cost of the phone is approximately about $125 to $135 resale. Um, one of the reasons that we like this phone and a lot of customers like this phone is because this phone is one of the main phones that most all of the service providers that I know of that we work with will actually offer as one of the free phones, including an, included in a plan or a new agreement. Um, examples are Vonage Business, Nextiva, OnSip, Ring Central, um, 8x8, the list goes on and on and on. This is an extremely popular phone, which is why this review is way overdue. Um, we recently actually had a company that we worked with that decided to choose Vonage Business um, and worked with us that we got this phone for free, included in an agreement for 97 seats, 97 phones, oh, I'm sorry, 79 phones for um, this particular person with this. They had 79 of these and then two separate Yalink uh, conference phones that were, you know, the whole, what we call the starfish dealio that were shaped like a star that sit on the conference table. So, um, and so far nobody has complained. They really like this phone. Let's get into some of the cons of this phone and then we're gonna wrap this uh, review up. I won't lie, I honestly couldn't come up with many cons for this phone. Here's why. It's got a color LCD screen that's backlit, which is, it's becoming more common with phones, but it wasn't common in the previous Polycom phones. Like my, baby, my VVX 300 that I have, that's only about three and a half, four years old, it is a backlit screen, but it's not a color LCD screen. It's an old, like, you know, liquid crystal LCD screen, but it is backlit so I can use it at night and things like that. This phone, which is newer um, than mine, actually has full color LCD and backlit. So that's a plus. Um, the other thing was the backlit keys. I really couldn't knock too much. The only thing that I could think of that is a legitimate con for this phone is it doesn't have Bluetooth wireless capability. Um, I have had some people that have contacted me looking for this phone for a provider that supports it as well saying, Hey, we also want to use hands free with Bluetooth or something. And once they say that, unfortunately, unless they're like just kind of already sold on Polycom and they're like, no, I want Polycom. We typically look at something like Yalink because the Yalink phones have a very, very strong uh, capability. They have very strong feature sets that cater to not only people that want to use Bluetooth uh, headsets or hands Bluetooth compatible hands free devices, but they have very strong capability when it comes to also people that want to connect an IP phone wireless, like they can't get a wire in a certain area or something like that. So um, that's one of the biggest cons about this phone is I couldn't find anything that specified that this phone supported any type of Bluetooth pairing for a hands-free device or Bluetooth accessory. Keep in mind, some of the other Polycom models do, but not this one, unfortunately. So um, let's see here. Oh, that's one of the other cons for this phone. It's the only other con that I could come up with this uh, with this phone. Now, this is important. For those of you who are watching that are thinking, okay, I like this phone, but I want it with a provider, don't worry. If you come to somebody like me and you look to try to get the phone subsidized through a service provider for new service or you're switching service to a carrier that offers this phone, like a Vonage Business, Nextiva, or OnSip, they will typically always include the power supply for this phone. If you're somebody who is watching this and you already have a voice over IP phone system through your provider and you just want this phone, you don't need service. Um, typically, 
Anywhere that you go to get this phone, they do not sell the phone with the power supply that you plug into the wall to give it power included with the phone. So keep that in mind. I don't want any of you to go to some of the links that I've supplied below because below I'm going to put some Amazon links to this phone new and also this phone certified refurbished. For those of you who already have a service provider or are happy with who you have and you don't need new service and you just want to buy the phones, keep in mind both of the links. It does not include the power supply. I have also included a separate link below this video for the power supply for this phone as well. So just remember that if you buy this phone outside of a carrier, it will not have a power supply. It's always separate, but luckily the power supply usually ranges from five, from five to 10 bucks or something like that on Amazon or third party sources. So again, this is the full review of the Polycom VVX 250. We think it's a great phone. We have literally had dozens and dozens of customers U.S. nationwide contact us and say, hey, Prince, can you help me find a new uh, voice over IP phone system or the best voice over IP provider for our company? And when we lay out the phone options with said provider, I would say that about 70 percent of the time people go with this phone um, because a it's a really great phone. It's got great features at the time of this video. It's the cream of the crop. It's one of the newer Polycom phones. And most of the carriers offer it for free at no extra charge, no matter how many you need with a new account or contract agreement. So if you're looking for um, service, remember Prince Rich, I'm your go to guy for the best deals on business, phone and Internet service in the United States. I'll catch you guys again in the next video.